of uh, Gun Roll Bullies. You can reach me at, uh, you can contact us at Gun Roll under slash Bullies. Um, we got a, uh, I got a reading that just went down. Hopefully everything confirmed. Stax and Mika. Stax is my, uh, is my main stud at the house. And um, I got two more females that should be going to heat real soon. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about that right now because we don't know what might happen at, during that time, but everything should be good with that. But I definitely got a litter drop in, hopefully in August, and uh, you might wanna get with me on that one, so yeah. CNC Exotics, uh, you can reach me at CNC underscore exotics, underscore one. Um, I got a few things in the work. I got currently five, almost six females in heat. I'm breeding my fourth one today, all in house production. Uh, to my studs, uh, Juice, uh, the chef, call him the chef from House Kitchen. Um, you know, time to tell, uh, these females take. Um, I got a show coming up August uh, 13th, me and Flex Zone Bullies. Uh, New Jersey, Warwick, New Jersey. Uh, we got uh, Garden State June coming in. He's going to judge the paintball division. OJ Moneybags going to do the uh, Moneybags division. Um, we got um, Out the Box Geo. He's going to judge the Supreme division. Uh, so on and so forth. We got Manny coming in with the Wolf. Uh, we got we're gonna have Mr. Worldwide uh, there. Chino dropping bombs, him and his wife are going to be judging. Um, we're going to have uh, Buck and OJ. Uh, they're going to be the MCs. Um, we're going to have Out the Box Angel, Out the Box Geo. Like I said, um, Ringside Boosts are sold out. Um, regular Boosts are available. Uh, tap in, hit me on the gram, or hit uh, Flex on Bullies. Either one of us can accommodate you. Uh, I'll have uh, my collars, leashes, harnesses there as well. Um, tap in, tap into me or June Garden State Bullies. Either one of us can get you right. Durable quality, washable, seatbelt material, night reflection, um, padding. It's quality stuff. Um, you know, I've been in the dog since I was a teenager. You know, younger than that, probably a kid, man. But, um, yeah, come out. It's gonna be a good show, good vibes, and uh, you know, gonna be a movie. Backpack Bullies here. You already know how to reach me. Backpack Bullies on Instagram. Backpack Bullies on Facebook. Backpack underscore Bullies on both of them. Um, I got a couple little red productions on the floor already that I haven't popped out yet, but I'm gonna pop out soon. Matter of fact. Might pop it out at CSC show over there and go out there to Jersey and go show up for 585. Um, just slow motion. Been 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 doing everything that you gotta do, just gotta keep it under the radar till everything pop off. But yeah, I got a big daughter in heat now. Waiting for my bolo daughter to come in heat, my little red daughter to come in heat. But 2023 we're coming, man. Shit, for me, I've been fucking with like shit, pit bull since I was young. So it was always like pit bull, pit bull. If it wasn't pit bull, I ain't want it. But uh, I've been messing with pit bull since I was young. Went and did a little stint. You know, I had to disappear for a little bit, sit down. And uh, came home, and then I was, uh, when, it was when I was in the joint, I used to stay uh, up top on the Atomic Bully magazine. And um, I used to see them dogs, and I'm like, God damn, them motherfuckers is crazy. And uh, I get home and I see, I said, damn, this is the game. Motherfuckers is not selling dope no more. They selling dogs. I said, kiss my ass. So I said, uh, Yo, Atomic was the one that had I was um, like, yeah. They had Miyagi, right? They had, they, yeah, they had Atomic Miyagi. thought they, they started off with like the Dax and all that shit. They started with Dax. Remember, it was Dax with yeah, uh, yeah. Shepard and all of them. Yeah, yeah. And um, they had French Montana and all the motherfuckers. So I get home and I see these dogs and I'm like, I got to get me one of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So I end up getting one. Ended up with two, and I got like four or five dogs, you know what I mean? And uh, just, it's a waiting process though. I gotta, you know, mess with the, uh, wait till the bitches be ready and stuff like that. But for the most part, yeah, I've been messing with dogs since young, man. This has been like a 
dogs I always got to keep a dog. You know what I mean? So that was my thing. I don't know. What's up with you? I've been breeding dogs since I was probably 17, 18 years old, man. I've been having dogs since I was younger than that, though. You know, I did a previous uh, interview. I shared a little bit. Like, you know, I'm older than y'all. Like I told them, bro, back in the days, it was, um, you know, it was a, the dog pound, you know, dog catching there. But it was only like one or two dog pound dudes for the whole city. So, you know, you have a whole pack of fucking dogs running down the street. So I'll be trying to, you know, catch one of them, rope them up, keep them pet and shit. I continue to, you know, cycle as long as it was, but I've been breeding dogs for a while now. Me, I've been breeding dogs for a little bit. You know, the bully thing, I've really been in there for like two years now. Um, I started with game dogs. I started with Tom Garner Kennels. I don't know if y'all know about this. Yeah, there you go. I started with a, damn, I started with a champion dynamite son named Scrappy. Um, another one, another, another champion voodoo daughter named Tipsy, she just have white tips. Champion Voodoo was a champ in, in like uh, Barbados somewhere. And Ed, Ed, Ed Farron, Ed Farron, I think is his name. He was the white dude, yup. He was the white dude that went down over there in, in, in North Carolina for this, in Mooresville, North Carolina, they used like, like 32 dogs of his. Right. Long story short, that's why I started that. Uh, I did a little bit. I came home and everybody was talking about Mr. Miyagi. I thought they was talking about a new movie. <laughs> I swear to God. I thought they was talking about a new movie. And then when I seen him, George had him in, the, I think it was like the Louis Vuitton or, the, or, the, or, or some type of jacket. It was like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or something like that. In the little, uh, <clears throat> in the Sports Dog Journal, which is the Sports Dog Journal was for, for fighting dogs yeah, and fight stuff dog, like that. Bullshit, yeah. And he came out there because, you know, he had won a couple, you know, little trophies and stuff. This was back when he was with ABR. Okay. Before he started IBR. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I always had a, I always had a passion for him. I just could never get my hands around him. And then I ended up getting my hands around him, and I started with one. That boy turned out to be no good. And then I got his mom. And I went from his mom to my big daughter to this to that. I, now I got like seven, eight dogs. Right. You know, but the passion for dogs has always been there. Um, breeding bullies two years. Before that, I used to breed game dogs. So I, you could say probably six, seven years, you could say, breeding.